As cases continue to rise, it's causing more changes at our schools. That's right. Winter sports at some of our high schools are now on hold. Emma Lockhart is in Gilbert tonight with how the virus is impacting those student athletes. Emma. Good evening, you guys. I'm here at Gilbert High, one of many schools across Maricopa County now delaying winter sports. The Arizona Interscholastic Association releasing new guidelines this week, saying the county doesn't meet benchmarks for schools to start practice. I've been like shooting on a little hoop since I could like stand. 16 year old Joshua Rogers lives for basketball. The junior at Horizon High School says playing on the court is like therapy. It keeps my mind off of the more negative things in my life. But the future of the game is looking uncertain. High school basketball, soccer and wrestling practice in Maricopa County is now postponed. I'm pretty upset about it because like junior year, I'm trying to play in college. According to the AIA's new guidelines, it's not safe to play. Maricopa County is in the substantial risk category and has more than 100 cases per 100,000 people. It's very concerning. It's continuing in the wrong direction. Dr. Sean Marvosti with the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix says COVID-19 numbers across the state are alarming. We need to act now before it's too late. Marvosti says we need a statewide mask mandate and to close high-risk businesses like bars and nightclubs. More and more people are getting sick and going into the hospitals. Are we waiting until it gets as bad as it was this summer? Dr. Kara Christ says the state is doing everything they can to prevent another shutdown. We would look at potentially reducing occupancy and then watching to see how that impacted the data and then likely looking again at phased phased approaches. Meanwhile, Rogers hopes mitigation efforts work so he can get back on the court. I just hope it gets handled and people stop getting sick and dying from it and everything goes back to normal. And the AIA says some schools or districts can start practice on Monday if they are in localized areas with lower levels of COVID-19. Of course, they would have to get approval from the association to do so. Reporting live in Gilbert, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.